Dominion Energy has started building its nearly $10 billion wind farm off the Virginia Beach coast. It will be the nation's largest offshore wind project, part of a push to rapidly expand renewable energy to fight climate change. I visited some initial construction work to see what it looks like. It's a two-hour trip by boat from the oceanfront to the region's biggest construction site. As you approach, something appears on the horizon, two structures towering over the water, each taller than the Washington Monument. It's so exciting every time I come out here to be able to see it. That's John Larson with Dominion Energy. These are our two pilot turbines that were installed in the summer of 2020. These two turbines are an example of what's to come. Dominion's commercial wind farm will eventually have 176 turbines, covering an area the size of 85,000 football fields. Larson says in just a few years, You would see just rows of turbines extending from here to 42 miles offshore. It's a massive project, but it won't be obvious from the oceanfront. The company says beach residents might see turbines as dots on the horizon on a very clear day. On this day, there's enough of a breeze that the blades of the pilot turbines are spinning. Larson says if you listen closely, you can hear a slight sound. It's like whoosh. Eventually, all that spinning across the entire wind farm should produce enough electricity to power up to 660,000 homes, or most of Southside Hampton Roads. It's all part of an effort to transition away from fossil fuels that worsen climate change to renewable energy sources. Construction started in May and will last through late 2026. Parts for the wind turbines are coming from all over the world, including Germany, Portugal, Mexico, and Vietnam. They end up at the Portsmouth Marine Terminal. From there, the infrastructure is transported out to the project site on a huge ship called the Orion. The vessel itself is a very large crane one of the largest cranes on any vessel in the world. That's Chris Nunn with Dominion. He points to the Orion, which currently has a 1,500-ton turbine foundation, or monopile, in its grip. We have a monopile in the cradle currently that has been uprighted and positioned for installation with a vibratory hammer on top. This monopile will be the 10th installed at the site. Workers use vibrations to drive it into the top of the seabed, then a giant hammer to pound through a thicker layer of clay. Dominion environmental manager Mitchell Jabs says the company's taking measures to try and limit disruption for marine life. We know that pile driving, putting noise in the water, has the potential to harass marine mammals. They're using what's called a double bubble curtain. It's kind of like a giant jacuzzi surrounding the installation with bubbles that help absorb sound. Jabs says they also have observers on board the Orion to scout for animals passing through and pause construction if so. Dominion is currently facing a federal lawsuit from conservative groups that argue the Virginia Beach wind farm threatens endangered whales. Scientists say there's no evidence linking the industry to whale deaths. But construction isn't only happening out in the ocean. The company has to get the energy generated back on shore. That's where underwater cables come in. The cables are how we get our power from the wind farm. That's Chris Nunn, back on land in Virginia Beach. He's standing on the beach at the state military reservation, where nine ocean export cables will come ashore. He walks over to a huge open pit with giant holes in the side. Each one of those is where a direct pipe will be installed, and we'll be receiving our ocean export cables from the wind farm. When it's all done, these pipes will be hidden underground. This site will return to being a grassy field used as a rifle range. Dominion says it'll finish most onshore construction by the end of next year. Katherine Hafner, WHRO News.